Hey, what is going on guys? Talk Norwich City here, back for another episode of the Norwich City Fan Event Calendar. I hope you guys are doing really well, and a big thank you, as always, to Credo Asset Finance for sponsoring this series. Without them, as I've said many times, it wouldn't be possible. They are a really great local company who have backed me, helped me out a lot, and um, help a lot of people out. So go and check them out, the links will be in the description. But for today's video, um, I thought I'd do my top YouTube tips. Now, I get this question a lot from you guys. A lot of you guys want to be starting channels, or, more, or might already have channels and want to improve on them. Now, I didn't think I was the best guy to answer them, hence why I haven't made this video before. But since this series has come up, I've had the opportunity to ask a few people to help me out. And one of them people are Paul from Red Men TV, a good friend of mine who have helped, who's helped me a lot down the YouTube line with different tips and different tricks to really maximize growth on YouTube. So I went to him, I asked him for his top three YouTube tips, and here they are. So this is Paul from the Redman TV with his top three YouTube tips. For me, the first one is it's simply got to be consistency. Whether that means creating a, a consistent release schedule, that's something you want to work towards. But in the first instance, just making sure that you're delivering something on a, on a weekly basis. So yeah, it's great to get to a position where you're doing content every day or you're saying absolutely goes out on a Monday, absolutely goes out on a Tuesday. For the first, 12 months or the first six months or what have you it's just just turn up turn up get used to setting the camera up get used to to talking down the lens get used to getting your getting your editing done and getting your videos out and once you get into that that cycle of production and just knowing that even when you can't be asked you get your content out that's the first step that's the first step to take you on your way and then you can start to build those other things off the back of it the second thing as far as i'm concerned is to have an opinion and and to back that opinion the internet is a dark horrible and scary place where you can basically get nailed for, for saying anything so the most important thing you can do in that situation is believe what you're saying a lot of people will try to drive you know drive clicks and what have you by being uh, uh, over the top and, and controversial for controversial sake. And that's fine, if that's what you wanna do and you, and, you, and you feel you can take the kind of heat off that, then great, you know, people have made a success doing that and you can too. But for me, if you know, if you're gonna take, if you're gonna take abuse and you're gonna take stick, you need to have a bit of a thick skin. It's far easier to back yourself. So if you genuinely believe what it is you're saying, then that'll be that'll be far easier. And ultimately you'll you'll enjoy what you're saying a lot more as well. And I think you'll build a, a far more genuine rapport with the people who come onto your videos because you're being real. And ultimately, if people wanted to watch shows where people don't really know what they're talking about and don't really believe what they're saying, they can do. It's called television. Last but by no means least, and I think this is genuinely the most important thing after literally turning up and turning the camera on and stuff, have a laugh. You've got to you've got to be passionate about what you do. You've got to enjoy it because if you don't enjoy filming and you don't enjoy talking about these things, who the fuck's going to enjoy watching you talk about these things? It's as simple as that. So pick a topic, pick a way of doing things that you you buzz off, and that will translate and that will come across, and 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 people will hopefully enjoy it. And ultimately, if people don't get onto it, that shouldn't matter because your enjoyment of doing it should be the thing that drives you. And that should be the reason why you do it. You shouldn't do it for the money or for the views or anything like that because ultimately those things are very, very hard to come by. You should do it because you're passionate about it and you should do it because it's something that you want to do. It starts off as a hobby. It should be something that you enjoy. Like anything in life, you know, if you enjoy, if you enjoy doing stuff, it should give you joy. It should make your life better for doing it. And I'm sorry if that's a bit soppy, but it's true. Ultimately, love the thing you do and trust that as a result, people will love it too. So there it is then, Paul from Redmond TV with his top YouTube tips. I think they're great as well. Uh, as I said, Paul has helped me a lot with YouTube and how to do things, how not to do things. And they're just really nice guys. And I think a key thing they said in there was just enjoy it. Um, I make my videos kind of myself, um, especially at the start, I was making them solely for myself and just let people come to me if they enjoyed them. I think the biggest mistake people make nowadays on YouTube is they see a, a certain trend or a certain market that's really going well and they just jump on that and two weeks, two months down the line, they're not enjoying it and they're suddenly in this sort of trap of having to make videos that they don't enjoy doing. If you make videos for yourself, you make videos to enjoy them, other people will enjoy that too. Don't make videos for other people, make them for yourself. Do what you enjoy and other people who enjoy the same thing will come and watch your videos, I guarantee it. Um, I didn't think there was this many people that enjoyed listening to Norwich City Chat, but clearly, there is. Anyway, a big thank you to Paul from the Redmen TV and also Creo Asset Finance for sponsoring 
this series. Uh, loads and loads of other videos coming out very, very soon. Uh, so thanks for watching and see you later.